Holy crap. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here at the Monfort Bat Cave on Samal Island. And it's supposed to be the world's most like uh, populated bat cave in the world. And I'm walking up and I can already hear all of these bats. Holy crap, okay. I just walked towards the entrance. I can already see them. I'll get a little closer to show y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are so many bats in there. So here's some stuff, information. I'll put that there. Y'all can pause it if you want to read it. Well, I say it's literally completely full because I'm not sure how well y'all can see this. It's literally from the entrance as far as I can see and just completely filled with bats. I think I read it said there's like two over two million bats that live in this cave. So it's crazy. It's, it's supposed to, like I said, it's the most populated, I think, fruit bat cave in the world. So they have the little signs for it everywhere where it's like Guinness World Record. So hope they're not lying. I don't think they would be. Alright, so I guess there's more than one entrance, so you can go check out the other ones. Okay. Here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, some of them are just staring. That one's staring right at me. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. I've seen some bats just like flying around, but I've never seen this, this, this many bats in one area. This is, this is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm so close to them. Yo, look how cute those guys are though. You always think bats are kind of like gross, but these dudes are super cute. They just look like flying rats. They're like flying Oh! It's actually just... It's actually just amazing how many there are. Like this entire... It's just filled. God, I would hope that the, the camera picks up how many of them there really are. It's just... Like, as you can see, the deeper I shine in, it's still just covered in bats. God, no. The sound of it is just a little overwhelming, too. Just how many, you just hear them making their little, little uh, echolocation noises. They just filled, like the entire area is just filled with it. Like walking up from, you know, probably a hundred meters away, I thought I was hearing like, uh, like insects or something or monkeys. I was like, what is that? Get here. And I just realized, oh, that's the bats. Cause it's just that, there's so many of them here. You can hear from that far away. Look at all these guys. Smell, uh, it smells like there's two million bats though. Right near the entrance. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, oh, holy. Wow. This has to be one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. This is, like, unbelievable, like, I didn't expect, because <laughs> I really didn't do any research, I just, I was driving, I wasn't even planning on making a video, to be honest, I was just driving this off Bat Sanctuary, I was like, oh, that sounds cool, 
Oh my god, but this is just unbelievable. Now I'm going to the third, or I think no, this is the fourth cave entrance. Oh! There's a giant monitor lizard in there too. He's probably hunting them. Look at that thing. That thing is massive. It's probably at least three or four feet long. That thing is huge. So, I saw another one a minute ago, but I wasn't able to get it on video. But, oh, he sees me. There's a, the first time I heard a monitor lizard, I actually thought it was a frog, because they, the noise they make sounds a lot like a frog. Oh, he's. He's on the move. Literally like a, feels almost like a ancient world here, like where I'm at. You have all these bats, it's like a movie. And then you have a giant lizard just living in there. I'm trying to think like, never in my whole life have I seen just anything like this. It's just amazing. So there's the whole, Zoom in some and you see it's filled with bats. I just, I really hope the video is able to show you how many bats that there are here. And I think this is the final entrance. This one's a lot quieter. It's a lot smaller too. You don't really have the, uh, extreme noise coming out of there like you do at the other places or the other entrances I think this is the fifth the fifth entrance there's actually a different sound that doesn't sound like the rest of them would hate for my phone to fall in there yeah so that's that's the hole it's probably between 10, maybe 10 to 15 feet is the size of that hole from uh, from the bottom to the top. So I wonder if this part is connected or not. I don't know. Maybe it's its own little separate bat cave, but wow. Oh, just got to. Another hit of the uh, guano, if I remember. That's the name. What you call uh, bat poop. So, you just said that the, the worker here says there's massive snakes that live inside there? Yeah. That's crazy. How big? They said, like the size of the bamboo here. Oh, and like thick like uh, that. So. <laughs> so yeah, and all the poop. Okay, you'll get stuck. I was like a freaking Burmese python or something. But I mean, I saw the big monitor lizards. So those are what? Those ones were at a minimum four feet. I mean, they got plenty of food there, so shouldn't be a lack of that. Oh, you got some friends coming behind us so there weren't wasn't really anyone here and a bunch of people just showed up but they're leaving at the same time we are what does it smell like like a honey I don't know what kind of honey you're smelling <laughs> it smells like uh not like poop it doesn't smell like poop it's it smells like fertilizer to me it smells you know like the 
when you're farming and you you take the fertilizer and you throw it out on the field yeah. that's what yeah that's what it smells like to me <laughs> like a really really strong fertilizer which i mean makes sense because i think they used to use it guano as a fertilizer coming up oh we got the gift shop hello what do we got fancy she always likes her pearls the freshwater pearls they have so many pearls here in the Philippines I don't know how many are are real but I don't know whenever I, I've been at the beaches places I always see people collecting clams so I just assume all right we're done we're heading to I don't know somewhere else so see y'all in a bit so now we just arrived at historic was Japanese cave house Japanese cave house oh, okay so this is a Japanese camp before during World War two okay here's the cave Ooh. Oh, it's tiny. I can have a shot, Padre. Okay. You want to go? Yeah. Okay. It's really. Yeah. Really tiny. Ooh. Oh, there's fossils on the walls. Like a cement, Yeah. Japanese work. Oh, is there concrete? Wow. Okay. So. Careful, sir. They have hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deep hole. Ah, money di mo sa mga ano? This is. <laughs> Uh, what we that, sir. There's a mortar. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 16 feet. So they took out the... Wow. You wanna go down? Yeah, of course. Do you want... Mm -hmm. Good answer? Yes. Yeah, bring this flashlight. But I'm... Okay. Alright, I gotta go down here. Good. All right, I'm gonna close the, my phone off real quick. Okay, so they're still clearing more into the cave. Holy crap. Yeah, I know it's hot. But it's also super tight. Wow. Oh, what is that? Is that... So there's a tiny hole. Yeah. Like, you need to clean this one. And then... So this is where, I guess, people were living. The Japanese yeah. occupiers were living here during World War II. Yeah. So it keeps going. But they just have to, they're working right now to clear all this out. Wow. Some crazy stuff. <gasps> yeah, I know. It's, yeah. It's pretty dang hot down here. All right, I'm gonna go up the, back up the ladder. Oh, there's just a drop there. But we're good. You okay? Oh, so there's pyrite in here? Where's the, that at? This is pyrite? Like the fake gold? Okay. Because she was saying she thought she saw gold earlier. 
So maybe yeah. she did. But it's the pyrite, because pyrite is a... F- it's a fake... Yeah, it's a... Pyrite? Pyrite. It's not the real gold. It looks like gold, but it's fake. Is what it says. Yeah. So let's see, what is all this? 100 meters long, or that's 700 meters long, 300 meters wide. It's super hot in here. Down, <laughs> but they're both standing up straight fine. <laughs> it's funny. I guess we're gonna go back out. That was cool. But. There sure are a lot of coral and other types of fossils in the stone. Here we go, we're coming back out. Definitely want to take this off, it's hot. Can't imagine living in there. Guess that was the reality for the Japanese soldiers there. That's where they lived. History, this cave is one of the hideouts during World War II by the Japanese soldiers. It's very cool. Hey, this is Future Me here. Uh, I definitely forgot to end the video there. So this is the end. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it, made it this far, but thank you.